Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Daxon here with Noxad.org. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Autodesk 123D Design. Basically, I got a 3D printer last Friday, so about six days ago, and I want to get right into printing off my own 3D stuff. I didn't really care what it was. I just wanted to try out my first 3D printer, and I found a few different 3D design softwares, and I found out that it was a lot more difficult than I would have thought. I figured it was just like, okay, you know, here this is, go ahead, you know, click print, that's it. Turns out there's a lot more to it, especially if you have no idea what you're doing. So I am learning, and I want to kind of share my progress of what I'm learning with you guys. For other people that, you know, just got a new 3D printer and uh, is wanting to start making their own basic 3D stuff. So in this video, I'm just going to kind of be going over a little bit of the basics with Autodesk 123D Design. It is free and it's supposed to be like the best software there is for 3D design, for 3D printers, or if you're wanting to use or make 3D stuff for whatever else reason you want. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Once you have this downloaded, it'll look something like this. And a few of the basic controls is on your mouse you'll have your scroller you can scroll backwards to zoom out or scroll forward to zoom in so you can go ahead and do that and kind of experiment with you know getting closer or further away you also have this cube up here in the right corner you can click and drag and that pivots your screen kind of turns you all right or you can hold down the right click on your mouse and it will do the same exact thing so whichever you prefer is fine and then one more basic tool is your pan which is right up here in the right corner you click on that and that allows you to actually move around the screen okay so those are your basic controls you kinda wanna get down it did take me a minute because especially like uh, your pan or not your pan but your um, looking left and right using your uh, right click your mouse or the cube it is a little bit difficult especially if you've never done anything like this before like me so it did take me a few minutes to get that down but it's really pretty simple once you you know just kind of sit here and mess around with it so those are your basic controls let's go ahead and get into your very basic shapes that are included with the software so up at the top you'll see a little square with a like a cube with a circle by it primitives and once you hover over that you have your box you know your cube and the sphere and a cylinder cone torus wedge prism pyramid and a hemisphere basically you can click on the box okay and once you click on it it pulls up your cube and you can just then click and boom there it is wherever you want it to place it on your screen you can do that with any of the shapes so you can kind of experiment around just messing with a few different ones if you if you want to do that just like that and let's, I'm gonna get a little bit in right here like I said I'm still learning myself so let's see if I can get in a little bit okay all right I can see them all pretty good now Okay, so let's work with just basically resizing these shapes a little bit, because that's kind of something that, it did take me a little while to figure it out, even though it's actually pretty easy now that I know how, and you can reshape these basically any way that's possible. So how you would do that is, you just highlight your first shape, or you can select it, and this little menu should appear at the bottom of your screen. And what you're looking for is the smart scale. So you'll click on that. And then you can kind of see what it did to our cube here. Alright. And then you have all those different color boxes or squares. And that's actually how you resize. So you'll just click on it. And then drag it. And you can see... How many millimeters I live in the United States so everything here is mostly inches but in this case I'm having to learn more you know the size of millimeters and like with my printer I have the mono price select 
um, mini, I believe it's called, and I can do 4.7 inches, you know, high, width, and, and depth, so that's like, I think right around 120, 121 or so millimeters, so I could go a decent size, it's not huge, but like right about here would be my max, and right about here. That would be about as big as my printer can print so far as width and length. And you're wondering how I know that. Well, I'm looking at my measuring tool down here on the side. See, 120 and 120, like I just said, that's about my max. And I can do the same thing with height. I'll click out this one right in the middle and drag it up. And you can see in the bottom right here on mine, it's 46 millimeters tall. And I should be able to get up to... So that's right about a perfect cube, which is as big as my printer can print. Now I do want to resize this down because that's way too big. That would probably take hours and hours and hours and hours to print. But you kind of play around with this and kind of get the shape you want. But when you're done, you'll see this little green check mark. You click on that and it kind of saves your shape. And we can do the same thing with our other shapes here, smart scale kind of click and drag you know, make it make it taller that's more of a I don't know you consider that shape like a, the shape of a blimp or like a <laughs> oval I guess kind of or you can flatten it down see that's three millimeters tall so I'm looking right here okay so 69 millimeters long 52.5 wide and three tall so that's kind of how you would read that. And let's do the same thing with this shape right here. What do they call that shape? A torus, okay. We'll just highlight that, come down here to our smart scale, and we will kind of do the same thing. Make it as big as you want there. And then click the little green check mark, exit mode. And we have successfully kind of made the shapes that we uh, want to make. That's kind of all I'm going to do in this video. I just showed you the basics, kind of how you move around and working with some of the shapes, the 3D objects that they have given you in this program. I do plan on making a few more videos with this um, so you can kind of learn with me, no matter if it's right now or, you know, two or three years or even more in the future. And you're you know, you're just getting into 3D printing as I am. I'm also kind of making this for my own uh, learning experience, kind of going over it over and over and over so I don't forget it. And also I have this video to fall back on if I ever forget anything. So that's it for this one. Check out the next video in these in this series I'm going to be doing over Autodesk 123D Design. Please like this video if I was any help to you. Share it. On Facebook or wherever you want or wherever you can share it on social media you know for maybe you have some friends that uh, want to get into this too and kind of want to learn with us um, also subscribe to my channel I make all types of cool videos if there's any other videos that you want um, that maybe I have experience in technology or anything really um, leave a comment on this video you know and I'll I'll try to do my best. Also, if you have any questions, you know, just drop a comment and I'll do my best to respond to you. I should be able to respond pretty quickly, you know, within a within a day's time because I have the notifications on my phone and with my email. So, uh, also check out my website, www.noxad.org. The link will be in the description. I have all types of cool 3D stuff that I've made and that, you know, other people have made that you can, you know, just download and print it off and... Also, lots of other videos, technology, things about animals, free stuff, you know, politics even. I mean, I got everything going on there, and everything there is free. So check it out. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Have a good day.